and gentlemen, boys and NBs, welcome back to the Warzone. And today I wanted to talk about not only sniper builds, but sniper loadouts as a whole, and what you should be running as an entire kit when dropping in to the DZ or the WZ, I guess, in this case. At any rate, what you should be taking into Battle Royale in solos or as a group. So as we go through this, keep that in mind. At times I'll be talking as a solo, and at other times I'll be talking as a group. Before we get into this, I would like to say that over 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So please make sure to slap that subscribe button, and if you could hit the like button, I would love you for so long, I promise. And with that, let's get into it with our very first gun, and that is the Cat AMR. And with the AMR, we're actually gonna use the Nightfall Suppressor, because this gives us the absolute maximum boost to bullet velocity that we can get. But then gonna add the Zhang 34 barrel for the same reason, the Spire Point rounds that everyone's been using since this game came out, because again, bullet velocity, one shot sniper. I still go old school with the Ole V laser because lasers don't matter people don't pay attention to them and this gives you not only stability but aim down sight and spread to fire making you faster and with modern warfare 3 they added this magnificent scope in the Heinrichter hybrid which is just a four times eight times hybrid it's multi zoom and it's wonderful you'll see it on a lot of these builds today you have an optic that you like better obviously use it but the Heinrichter is my go-to for most builds it is just phenomenal and it has the ADS penalties of a four times with eight times zoom. With that said, I'm also going to be giving you the sniper support classes for the guns that I think are the best sniper support guns in the game. And with that, I like to pair the Cat AMR with the brand new HRM9, which though it is a submachine gun, it does have that mid range that a sniper support gun needs. Though it will not reach out past maybe 40 meters, it does get the job done in almost all occasions. And for this build, we're gonna use the Tacticurin 7 Suppressed Integrated Barrel, the Hatchet Light Stock, the PCS-90 Assault Rear Grip, the DR-6 Hand Stop, and finish off that bigger magazine, the max magazine size of 50. This thing is an absolute demon. I'm so happy that this gun is in the game because it absolutely fries and the iron sights are incredible on it. Next on our list for sniper I've got my personal favorite and that is the newest sniper to be added to the game and the XRK Stalker as this thing really feels like the Car 98 did back on Verdansk just without the bullet velocity. The one shot snipes are incredible and you will absolutely fry anyone with quick scopes. For this build we're going to use the Stoic 4 suppressed barrel, the Ole V laser once again, we're going to use the Ural M stock, the 50 cal explosive ammunition, and the XRK Stalker factory rear grip. Just get that ADS up a little bit further and make this thing fly and fry so just in case i wasn't clear enough if you're an extremely aggressive sniper this is the build for you the stalker is absolutely the most aggressive one shot sniper in the game bar none you will fry anyone and they will literally go what was that this guy's hacking with every engagement I did want to stop before we go on real quick and say that we do have a Discord, and I put these builds out early in the Discord all of the time, and I will be uploading videos much more frequent. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, all that stuff one more time. Now let's get back into it. I like to pair this gun with the UMP45 or Striker as it's known in this game, as it is the most forgiving submachine gun in the game. So if you're going to be heavily aggressively sniping, you're going to need a gun that is going to give you the ability to recover from that the striker absolutely gets this done and for this build we're going to use the shadow strike suppressor again the dr6 hand stop the 48 round mag you can use the 60 if you would like the 48 is just fine for me even in quads the sack and zx rear grip for a little bit of recoil control and then finish off with the lockman mk2 light stock to up that movement speed and just get into the action a little faster and of course i'll be going over perks and your lethal etc all of that stuff later in the video but also, as a part of a marksman class, you can obviously use DMRs in this, and one of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons that is still absolutely incredible 
that absolutely no one's using is the EBR. The EBR is just as good as the Interceptor was before its nerf. The only reason it's so good is no one is using it, so take advantage of it. For the EBR, we're gonna start with the Sonic Suppressor that had the Chuke angled grip, the 762 by 51 high velocity ammunition, the 20 round magazine, and then finish off once again with that Heinrichter hybrid scope. So we get the ADS penalty for a four times, but we get the zoom of up to eight times for an absolute wonderful weapon that will slap just like the Interceptor did pre-nerf. This thing is absolutely incredible. Give it a whirl. You don't know what you're missing, I promise. And then I actually pair this gun with a battle rifle that has the ability to kill up close as fast as all of the submachine guns and is able to kill the high TTK all the way out to around 45 meters. And that is the MTZ 762 with the aftermarket part. This thing is amazing and I don't know why no one's using it. It does only have a 40 round mag so that is its downside. However, for this build we're going to use the Shadow Strike Suppressor, the DR6 Hand Stop, the 40 round magazine, the Jack Heretic Carbine Kit, which you do you need to put on first and then the MTZ light strike telescopic stop to make an absolute wonderful weapon. I am not kidding when I say this thing deletes absolutely everyone. If you haven't tried this yet, give it a whirl. You will not regret it. And since we spoke of the Interceptor while we were talking about the EBR, next up we've got the MTZ Interceptor, which is still a very, very viable option. It still absolutely smacks. They've nerfed it like five times and it is in a very good spot. It's not overpowered, but it still does what it's supposed to. For this build, we're going to use the Nilsau 90 Suppressor, the Longshot Pro Barrel. We're going to use the High Grain Ammunition, the 20 Round Magazine, and I use the AOK four times RQS Recon Optic. This optic has absolutely no glint, and you will be able to slap snipers without them even knowing that you have a bead on them. Most people don't even know this optic exists, so give it a try and watch people be very confused why you do not have a glint. I don't know why no one seems to be be able to read but this optic is amazing and it is such a troll give it a shot enjoy it have fun with it and once again you can pair any of these guns with each other really this is just how i prefer to run them but with the interceptor i like to run the ram 7 the brand new ar that is actually an old ar from the original warzone and for that ram 7 which is the absolute meta ar right now i start with the boreal 6c suppressed barrel the dr6 hand stop the 556 low grain ammo the 60 round drum and finish off with the ft we're using the low grain ammo because we're not worried about our bullet velocity as we're only using this out to about 45 meters and we're trying to get our recoil as low as possible without hurting our aim down sight speed. This thing is absolutely incredible. There's only one gun that I prefer over it in sniper support and that'll be the next one I show you in this category but this thing is not to be balked at. The Ram 7 is absolutely incredible right now. If you're not using it you're doing it wrong. Speaking of doing it wrong, if you've made it this far into the video, clearly you like my content and you may not be subscribed because like I said, over 80% of my viewers are not subscribed, which means four out of five people seeing this are not subscribed. And that is a damn tragedy. So make sure to fix that and like the video, would ya? Now let's get into it with our final sniper slash marksman. And that is going to be what I think is the absolute best option. And the TTK charts do not lie. It's a Modern Warfare 2 weapon that was absolutely awful last year, and that is the LMS. No, I'm not trolling you. The LMS is an absolute demon, and it absolutely beat the Interceptor pre-nerf, and it will absolutely dominate every single lobby you use it in. Just do not fire it at its max fire rate. Make sure to give it time to recenter. So let's get into the build. This build is for velocity and control overall, and we're going to start with the Sonic Suppressor, and then we're going to add the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, followed by the High Grain Ammunition and the 20-round Magazine, and again, finishing this one off with the Heinrich hybrid scope so you can use it with the four times zoom to spam but if you need to hit precise shots you can zoom in and still hit those precise shots the AOK -okay is another option if you just want to spam your shots but I would go with the Heinrichter myself and then finally for our final gun on this list what I believe is the absolute best sniper support gun in the game in the six spear or the bass B 
the Bass Bravo. For this build, we're gonna use the Crippling Malice Light Barrel, which is an integrated suppressor, the DR6 hand stop, the low grain ammunition in the 45 round magazine, and finish off with the Bruin Flash V8 light stock so you can get maximum movement, have almost no recoil, and still hit like an absolute dump truck out to 45 meters with ease. This thing is absolutely incredible. Again, only thing holding it back is it has a 45 round magazine, but you will absolutely fry up to three people with this build with ease. There is no better option. And with that, let's get into my choice for perks and alternatives that you can use with it. Now, of course, you've been able to see on screen this entire video that I like fast hands, double time, quick fix, and high alert. Now you can use Mountaineer instead of Fast Hands if you're using certain weapons and Cold Blooded is actually a wonderful choice as well because Cold Blooded will keep you off of other people's high alert as everyone is using high alert. Any other perks, I don't really see a point in running them. Tempered, maybe, but you can just get that in vest form so I don't see a point for it. Same goes for Ghost. As for equipment, I prefer a throwing knife and a smoke grenade. There's nothing that beats a smoke grenade unless you're running a riot shield. And well, Semtex or throwing knife, if you're gonna use something, I prefer the throwing knife because I like to clean my kills. Up to you what you use in these positions, but that's what I use. And on that note, that's gonna end the video. Watch me die and GG boys. Six foot five with some real thick thighs I saw a cover cutter that just quickly caught my eye